YouTube. What's up, sinners? My name is Sonara. And if you haven't seen it yet, there is a dev report for the 2.0 version of Vera. Uh, yeah. Okay, Vera is coming out tomorrow, so we're almost there. So if you're as hyped about it as I am, then maybe we can check these out together. So, dear Wanderers, thank you for your continued support of Tower Fantasy. It's the TOF team here. We have released a lot of content lately for preparation for the 2.0 version. Have you guys seen them? Well, you know, actually, I'm actually a little impressed with Tower Fantasy. I feel like they didn't have a lot of content uh, to begin with, and they really spread it out in a way that kept, at least kept me interested. After all, this is the big update since the artificial island. Are you ready to set off with us to Vera? with the ever-changing desert, the trendy high-tech cyberpunk city. After tomorrow's update, we are excited to share the highlights of this version with you guys. And of course, the repair content can't be left behind. What? <laughs> so we're getting a new map, new characters, new plots. As you guys have probably known from the forward review, there will be many new additions to the open world that you can explore and you can meet our first Simulcrum character, the adorable Ruby that I'm actually pretty excited about. You know, I can't go, I can't get enough of Tower Fantasy where I don't have to look like the adorable Ruby. I can be king with a laser beam pet that follows me and that makes me really excited. Will you, blah, 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 your friends, you're gonna have friends, no one has friends, all right, we're gonna do Vera. These are highlights, okay? So this is interesting. Gray space fissure available in Vera. After everyone has completed 40% of Vera's map exploration and has reached at least level 74, you'll find some strange entrances in Vera's world map. After entering, it seems to be similar, but a different world. The new way of playing is gray space fissure, and you will find plenty of rewards after exploring or fighting. The entrance to the gray space fissure will be refreshed every day. So get ready to take on an adventure. I don't know exactly what this is. I would probably have to look at the Chinese client to get a feel for it, but you know, I'll take anything that gives me resources, to be honest with you. The upper level limits are increased. That's good. I, for some reason, I thought that we were, uh, I thought that we were going to be level 80 before Vera. I don't know where I got that idea. So every day I was like, is the leveling cap creased? Because these joint operations are taking a while. But no, we will, we will go up to 80 in Vera. Everything is going to be increased with it. Your suppressor is going to 8.5. Abundant activities with lots of rewards. We will start a new round of login bonuses. You could clean up the 10 red nuclei if you log in for seven days during the event period. You could check out the full benefits. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Controller update. So if you wanted to play out a controller, this is like full support, I hear. If you haven't played in a while, then you're gonna get to come back with a lot of stuff. Um, I was looking at like all these like first timer rewards that they're giving new players, so that's really good. You'll be able to, I will say, uh, something about an MMO that I, I don't particularly enjoy is the leveling process. It's just like a really unnecessary hazing um, to get pe when people have to play, like if you wanna go play Lost Ark or World of Warcraft, you're gonna have to go level for like a, for hours by yourself and not really actually play the real game. It's not like that in Tower Fantasy. You can, if, first of all, they boost you like massively. And then also it's like, you could still play the entire game. You're just at a, at a lower level. There's like no place you can't really go. And then this, this last part, <laughs> This last part is a little center of a uh, controversy here. I was reading the comments and people are not happy. So what they want is they're 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 looking. I guess they're going to open up a program uh, to help optimize their their localization. I think what that means is like, hey, 
report to us something that's weirdly translated or, or messed up or something, and we'll give you in-game rewards. And we are in the age of people not being cool with that, I guess. I don't know. I, I was, I read it and I was like, oh, awesome. How do I join? I could probably find some stuff and I'll get some in-game like pulls and stuff. That works for me. And then like, I was reading the comments and they're like, they're not gonna pay people. They were so mad. How about hiring a competent, how about hiring competent people instead of just paying random people? Fake internet money. Hire someone who can count to 10 and you'll already be better off than the launch localizers. <laughs> that seems utterly unprofessional. Hire a proper localization company and give them the time and money to do this right. Maybe exclude voice dialogue if that's, no, that's a terrible, that's a terrible idea. Yeah, I, I'm with this guy. I mean, like, I don't, first of all, I only noticed like one or two things. Like there was one or two things that like, there were subtitles, but there was no voice, which I don't think that's, I don't even know if that's a localization problem. That's just like a bug. And then, uh, you know, a lot of times the subtitles don't match like what the people are saying. It's just like something close to that. But like, it didn't matter really. Like, I don't know. It's not like Sword Swords of Legends online where like there's there's random voices that don't match the characters and half of the game is still in Chinese at random, okay? It's not that bad. Uh, I didn't, maybe for other languages that aren't English, it was bad. I guess I see like there's Russian players uh, that have our problems. I didn't find any problems in English and it didn't really bother me. Like, I think it's, when the presentation goes to like Swords of uh, Sword Legends, I, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, that game, that Chinese game that came out. It was like an MMO. When it gets to that level, you just feel like they didn't give a shit. Um, but I didn't really feel like there was much uh, problem with the localization. Maybe it's just I wasn't paying. I I watch the cutscenes too. Like I care about a, I care about the story in this game. I, I actually know what's going on, but um. You know, it's like, I don't, I'm not bothered by this. It's like, when you have a passionate community, why not? I don't, I don't think it's taking advantage of us. Why not just mobilize them? If you, you know, a lot of people, like they make guides, they make, um, like they do research. There was a, there's a lot of people that post like joint operation, pity, drop rates and stuff like that. And they do damage tests for the characters. You know, those are unpaid positions. You just kind of do it because you you like the game. It's like purely voluntary. You don't have to join the localization thing, uh, but they can definitely take advantage of me. I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. Hoda, is that how you say this game? Hoda, I'll do it for you, Hoda. Don't worry. I'll be up in there correcting the spelling and the grammar. Don't worry. So are you guys excited? I'm so excited. Um, I know I never even like did a proper um, like introduction to Tower of Fantasy on this channel. I just kind of started playing it and I was like, oh, I was just, uh, just gonna, gonna wing it. But um, I think maybe I'll try to do that uh, recent, um, hopefully soon. Maybe I could do it shortly after 2.0 so that, you know, you guys could hop in on the, on the new update. It's my impression that Tower of Fantasy is not proud at all of their release game at 1.0. I am like, I heard rumors that they did not want to release the game. They had to release the game early. They did not want to, but they had to, and it was a mess. And we all know the mess part, but it's, I'm under the impression that they think that 2.0 is the real game. So I think this is a great time to hop in. Um, there's even, uh, there was another patch notes that wasn't this one, I should have brought it up where they said that there's an easy way to just skip the entire like first part of the game, like if you want to. Like you get to a certain part and then you could just skip that story mode like completely. And I think maybe it'd be a good idea to do a little br super brief uh, recap on what is the story of Tower Fantasy, what is going on in the world around you, why are you here? You know, it's, it's, a, it's a cross between Walking Dead and uh, time travel and, and stuff like that. So it's, it's pretty, it's actually pretty interesting. 
So you guys let me know if you want a video like that. Are you in a Tower Fantasy yet? Are you gonna, am I gonna see you in Vera? I will be live tomorrow. Uh, if the ser I, if, I gotta check when the servers come up, but I should be live around like 11 in the morning. I'm super excited and I will see you guys there.